out here in my favorite spot to run sprints in Walnut Creek, California. Just this beautiful, nice open field out here. It's no shave November, so it's nice and cool outside. And I just wanna make this quick video on what keeps me motivated. And I wanna start putting some stuff on YouTube, not to try to get famous. If I'm expecting this to only get maybe 100, 200 views. I'm, just, I'm really just doing this because my business partner, one of my best friends and my roommate, Zan Jan, said I should start throwing some content up on YouTube. And for me, it's not to try to get famous. I'm not even qualified to teach success at this point. It's just because if I interact with somebody and they wanna learn more from me, but maybe can't get a chance to get around me, you just wanna see the way that I think, then you have the opportunity. You can just research my name. You can find me on Facebook. You can reach out to me. I don't even think there's another Andrew Zambetti in America. So I'm available. But anyway, I was just running these sprints and something that people always would laugh at me for or think I'm crazy for is that I have these crazy workouts that I do. And I'm always pushing myself to my limits and, and I just look funny doing it. And I, I get it too because I'm not here trying to be a fitness model. I'm not any sort of model. I'm not a pro athlete. Um, there's just no reason for me to be doing this. And yet I've been doing it for so many years. And the main reason why I do this is because I'm motivated to. But I think what a lot of people don't realize um, or don't know how to do is to give themselves that long-term motivation. See, when we're younger and we're kids, our motivation is so clear. It's right there in front of us. We have a sports team and we want to win a starting spot. We want to beat the other team. So the motivation is very easy to come by. You have a coach. You have to run this sprint. You have to do this. You have to, have to, have to. And that, that just applies for easy, easy, easy motivation. You have your parents. You have to get good grades. You have to show up on time. You have to do this in school. So you catch my gist here, which is like you have to, have to, have to do all the stuff you have to. And one of the reasons why I don't feel the need to take that many vacations or take that much time off and on the flip side, why I actually like to work is because of the way that I frame working, the way that I frame pushing myself, which is I don't feel like I have to do this because the truth is I don't. I don't have to do this. I don't have to go as hard as everybody else. I have the skills necessary to go a little bit less hard and still get the same results, if not just a little bit above. I have the athletic ability to where I don't have to run these sprints and I could still beat people and pick up basketball, whatever it is. I don't have to do this, but I get to. That's the framing. That's the difference is that I get to do these things. There was a time whenever I broke my wrist and I couldn't punch and I was scared that I would never be able to hit a punching bag again, which is one of my favorite hobbies to do. I tweaked my hamstring this summer and it sucked. I wish I could have ran sprints way more than I could have gotten to do. And I was like, man, if only I could run a sprint. Um, same thing with I broke my arm in high school. There was nothing that I wanted to do more than go down on that football field my senior year and I couldn't do it because my arm was broken. So every time that I get a chance to push myself, it's because I get to. My senior year of college, there was not anything I wanted more in this world than to just run out and knock a door to give someone a solar system for free and save them money. Literally, man, I was just waiting for the day. That's why I came out so hard. That's why I was one of the only people in Sun Great history right now. We're about two, less than two years in. No one except for me, Zane Jan, and Mikey Cavalieri have completed a, a real, true 90-day blitz. And it's because I believe we're grateful for it, man. We're grateful for the opportunity. I'm running these sprints, and my mind's telling me, you've done enough. I came out here, my goal was to run three 100 yard dashes as hard as I could. As soon as I did that, I completed my workout. I'm like, hey, well, uh, my mind's telling me you're done. Let's just run some, let's just run some 20 yarders. Get done running about six 20 yarders. Uh, let, let's run up that hill right over there. Did that about four or five times. All right, then I'll be done. Uh, well, let's just do some broad jumps up the hill, then I'll be done. And, and, and it kept on going that way. And the reason why is because it just simply feels better to push yourself. If you don't, you're just, you miss that killer instinct. If you're someone who's trying to get yourself to get more motivated, put your mind to the side. I'm human, we're all human. And your mind comes in there and says, you've done enough. And it's true, you've done enough. And you fulfilled your commitment. But the people who are really successful in life and really live, I believe, the best lives, they go the extra mile. 
And to go the extra mile, you're gonna have to tell your mind, hey, you've done your job. I appreciate you. Thank you for setting me on this path, mind. But you can relax now and give your energy to your body and fucking breathe. Just breathe and be in your body. Don't let your mind take any more energy. It doesn't want to. You're making it do it. You're making it give you excuses. You're making it give you fear. You're making it give you anxiety. And just put your energy into your body and feel how amazing it feels to be alive. And feel the gratitude. And if you need to use your mind, use it to be grateful for a time that you wish you could have been in this position to push yourself this hard. Because you get to do it. I'm out.